hello everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to a brand new video so today we are going to be getting ready together we are going to be trying out some new makeup and some older makeup i have a bunch of stuff so more than likely this video is going to be me using new products i also have a skincare product that i wanted to test on camera with you guys so with that said i have a few like kind of like life updates just kind of catching you up on live with that said grab your cafecito and let's jump right in i'm going to start off by applying a little bit of lip oil i have been obsessed with the elf lip oils these are so so hydrating if you have really dry skin i went to ulta to pick up this tula skincare filter primer this is a blurring and moisturizing primer this is the first slide so they have different shades if you want like a little bit of like not luminosity because it is a luminous primer but i guess it also adds a, like a slight tint to it looks like this it's just a watery serum so this is supposed to hydrate the skin while giving it a luminous finish i have been really into like dewy and just like glass like skin ever since i switched my skincare routine to like well i'm still working on switching my skincare routine to like all korean products is where it's at it is definitely where it's at i i'm gonna have or i'm gonna film a skincare routine very very soon probably within this week it's just been so hectic life has just been like here and there and up and down and sideways and everything so i'm definitely gonna you know catch you guys up on <laughs> why i tend to be mia a lot on social media i know i've been slacking with like uploading on mondays oh my gosh this is not blending out as much as honestly i wanted to and i don't know how i feel about this it's definitely giving a little bit of a luminous finish but i'm not feeling the hydration like don't know how I feel about this. If you guys love a good lightweight moisturizer for oily skin, let me know because I am currently out. I'm going to take my blurring primer from Laura Mercier. Honestly, I don't remember much about this primer, if I like it or not. But I'm going to take it to the areas where I typically need it, which is my T-zone. Can you guys believe it's already February? Oh my goodness, like this year is probably going to fly by just like last year because february is a shorter month even though this is leap year we have a leap year this month but still february is the shortest month of the year and it always just like i don't know i feel like it's in a blink of an eye that everything you know goodbye gone i am quickly going to add a little bit of my favorite primer you guys already know tart time is smoothing primer um, I like to use it with a little brush because I feel like this really just gets into the pores and really minimizes them. If I saw a comment the other day telling me that they have never been able to find, somebody said that they've never been able to find an actual pore minimizing primer that works for them. And if you're watching this video and you haven't tried this, like, trust me, coming from an oily skin girl with large pores, this is it this is the primer for you you just really have to like work it into the skin so you can get that super smooth canvas and pores disappear literally like i can just tell such a difference even from afar i'm gonna use the elf camel hydrating cc cream again since i want to go for a dewy finish on my skin this one is in the shade medium 330W. So what is new, you guys? What are your plans for Valentine's? Oh my gosh, please tell me like if you guys have a Valentine's Day tradition that you do with your spouse or your partner, whatever it is. Let me know, like give me some ideas. I want to do something cute and special for my husband this year. I feel like I always get him things like I'll buy him new clothes or if he's been wanting something my husband is a huge gamer and so if he's been wanting something like i always spoil him that way but i don't know this year i'm feeling a little sentimental so i want to do something cute for him but i don't know what because i am such not a romantic girl 
So if you guys want to give me some ideas on what's something like cute that comes from the heart um, that I can give him for Valentine's, I would love to hear your thoughts. So I just went and got the sponge wet from ColourPop. I feel like I'm all centered. So we're going to stick with newer products. This is the new Fenty Skin Concealer, the We're Even. So this is all hydrating products, okay? I'm going to take a pretty generous amount. I've been using quite a bit. Like 2016 makeup is making a comeback, so I heard, and I am so here for it. I honestly haven't been doing like heavy, heavy eyeshadow in months. Like it's been a hot minute since I've rocked like a heavy makeup, and it's not because I don't like it. I just, I'm really into like the more basic eyes with like the beautiful skin. Like that has been my vibe. So if you watch me or you watch my Instagram stories or if you watch me on here, you may know or you may not know that we recently got a ferret. <clears throat> so Lonnie has been wanting a ferret for years, you guys. Like she has been begging us for years to get her a ferret and we were just like, no, she's too little. She was asking for one since she was probably like eight going on nine or something like that. Obviously, she was not ready then. So... Christmas time, my husband was like, should we get her a ferret? Should we get her a ferret? I was kind of like a little apprehensive because I was like, at the end of the day, I feel like I'm going to do a lot of the babysitting. She's a child. She goes to school. And on top of that, she is a busy girl right now. She's starting soccer. Volleyball season is coming up and then she wants to do basketball so she is always super busy we always keep her busy with sports and obviously school and so I've been doing most of the babysitting we got Charlie maybe like two weeks before Christmas so it's been a little over almost two months since we had him girl we almost lost him I did not realize how mischievous and crazy they are like we did our research, but nothing prepares you. Like, no amount of research, nothing will ever prepare you to actually have a ferret until you have a ferret. I'm going to brighten up the under eyes a little bit. So I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Concealer. This is in 230 Neutral. This is really light, but I really like it because it gives you the most beautiful like bright under eye and i'm gonna let that sink in for a few minutes meanwhile we're gonna contour i'm gonna show you guys a little hack of what i did the other day and i loved the results i wasn't wearing any foundation i've been doing like a no foundation makeup look recently which if you guys are interested i can show you but it's really not, nothing special but i mixed these two so i'm gonna go in with the elf halo glow liquid filter and i'm gonna apply it here since this is like a little dark on me not dark, but it's just like a nice tan color. And I'm going to take it to the areas where I would want to contour. And then I go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Toffee. This is the perfect bronzing shade. Now, you only need the tiniest amount, okay? Like, don't do... Do as I say and not as I do because I've messed up so many times. Literally... That little line is more than enough, and I'm just going to do a little line here and a little line here. I mean, it is a concealer, and it's full coverage, so <laughs> beware. But anyways, as I was saying, so Mr. Charlie got into some trouble, and he was he Yeah, he pretty much got intoxicated. He was poisoned by my toddler on accident, which let me tell you that I felt so guilty because Lonnie's room is always kept closed and that day I was cleaning her room, cleaning her bathroom and I was using Fabuloso, you know, our Mexican little cleaning hacks that we have and I left the bottle on her bedroom table and when we got home, we left, we went and ran errands, we came back, I didn't realize that her room door was open and we have an upstairs and a downstairs living room. So our upstairs living room is more of a loft area. And I use it for my kids. So they can play, they can watch movies there, they have all their toys. And Lincoln usually will go upstairs 
on his own. He'll go upstairs, play for a little bit, come back downstairs. I can hear him, so I know what he's doing. Well, that day when we come back, when we when we came back from the store, I went into my room to grab a few things, and he went upstairs again. Nothing suspicious. He does this all the time. Well, he comes downstairs asking me something about Charlie and this, Charlie that. I was like, what do you mean? No, leave Charlie alone. He's sleeping. So I thought, well, I go upstairs into my daughter's room and tell me why Charlie was completely bathed in Fabuloso. Lincoln had sprayed him thinking it was the funniest thing. I went into absolute panic mode, you guys. Like, when I'm telling you I freaked out, I freaked out. Because if you don't know anything about ferrets, they are extremely sensitive, very delicate animals. They can just, they can catch colds, they can get influenza, they suffer from upper respiratory issues. I immediately started panicking. I thought the worst. I was like, oh my gosh, he's going to die. So long story short, we took him to the vet and they gave him some medicine. They told us, you know, he will either respond to this medicine. If he responds, then we will give him another dose. And if he doesn't respond, it might be the best idea to put him down because he was sick, y'all. Like ferrets are very playful, very, very interactive, very friendly animals and the fact that all he wanted to do was sleep he could barely open his eyes it was so bad she took him to the vet and she told us like so that's when she said he's either gonna make it or he's not gonna make it and thankfully he did respond very very well to the medicine we're still giving him his medicine that happened about three weeks ago ish maybe almost four weeks and he's like back to himself like playful charlie crazy mischievous if you follow me on Instagram, I will sometimes post him stealing things. He's just so cute, but yeah, like you're never just fully prepared to have animals like that. Also, very important if you are planning to get a ferret for yourself or for your kids, have some money stashed aside because vet bills for exotic animals are crazy expensive. Learn from my mistakes. So let's go in with a little bit of blush. I have these milk makeup cooling water jelly tint blushes honestly these are so pretty i think i'm gonna go with this one since this one kind of matches my shirt look at how cool that is it literally is like a little jelly do you see how it like wiggles it is so weird and then it tints the skin i wouldn't recommend for you to apply it directly onto the skin i like to take a brush and then i'll just like tap it I've been applying my blush a little bit higher when I smile. That way when I stop smiling, it doesn't look all the way down or it doesn't drag down. I do want to add a little bit more warmth to the skin. So I'm going to use my Jaclyn Hill bronzer. Honestly, I don't know if this is still available. Like this is one of those products that I do recommend for you to get. I know that her brand is like closing down. And so this is like like a hidden gem not a hidden gem but it's a really good product from her line so get it now or maybe wait to see it inside like tj maxx or something like that but this is such an amazing bronzer i love the formula i love the color it really just gives you that sun kissed look and i'm just gonna take a little bit right here on the cheeks i did set the skin already underneath the eyes just with my loose powder since i didn't have anything new to share with you guys i don't think i've seen any brands drop powder like a loose powder in a hot minute so i've just been like sticking to what i love which is my one size beauty products but yeah you guys charlie definitely gave us a big scare but like i said thankfully everything is a-okay and mr charlie is back to normal I also have these little lip and cheek balms from ColourPop. This is their new Lost in Love collection. I have here Cutesy Woodsy, and it's in their really pretty heart-shaped packaging. I have a few of their older shades, and I really like them. Wow, this is a really nice, thicker formula. I'm going to try to use this on top of my powder to see how it works. If not, then I'm just going to have to use something else. And then this one is in the shade Adore You which is a little bit lighter. It's like a softer baby pink. This one is the lightest out of them all. It's called Hearts Content. 
and this one is a really pretty light light pink so there are some swatches I don't know I'm a little bit nervous because this formula is leaning a little thick so I think I'm going to use actually a little bit of a powder blush yeah I think I'm going to stick with this pink one from wet and wild again I know that these are not new but they did send them over in PR it does have a little bit of shimmer but it doesn't transfer onto the skin they do come off a little more chalky like a little dry I guess the formula is a little more dry Let's finish the face. I'm going to use a little bit of the Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. So they sent over the palettes as well as these Spotlight Liquid Highlighters. I am going to use a liquid highlighter first and then go in with the actual powder. So this one right here is in the shade Gleam. Yes. And these are like the tart packaging where you just like twist it and then you get the product out. So I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze some out. This one is really pretty. It's almost like a rose gold. Did you guys see that? Oh, I like that. I love this type of formula where it's not glittery. It just looks like you're lit from within. Oh, I think this is my shade. This one is called Gold Glow. Look at that. These kind of remind me of the iconic London little droplets. You guys remember those used to be like all the rave back in like 2016 and then this is in the shade opal which i am guessing is going to be the lightest out of them all so i'm just using my little aoa brush i mixed opal and golden gleam and i'm going to take that to the highest point of the cheekbones because these are liquid i like to tap them in moving on with my story time so after charlie got sick i ended up getting sick I was so sick with a cold, you guys. Like, I am that type of person. I must have a really good immune system because I hardly ever get sick. But, man, this cold knocked me down. I am feeling so much better. I don't feel nasally or anything anymore. But it got me down for a few days. Lincoln got sick. My husband got sick. And then Lonnie got sick. I was like, oh, Lord. And then I started noticing that Charlie was, like, sneezing a lot. I was like, please do not get sick please do not get sick because like I mentioned earlier ferrets can actually catch human colds but I don't think he was sick I just think it was like a coincidence and I, I was just like panicking at that moment um, I'm gonna go ahead and take I'm gonna take a mix of all of these three to see what they look like because I haven't tried this formula oh, that is so pretty Okay, finally, we're going to move on to the eyes. I prepped my lids. I'm going to try the new Lost in Love palette again from ColourPop. I usually like to just let you guys watch the tutorial instead of like speaking through it because I feel like I can focus on the makeup and you guys can enjoy the makeup as well. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but I want to create something super cute. So plug your headphones in, listen to the music, and just let's get going.
So here are the eyes. I love the way they turned out. Definitely very girly and like a soft glam, but still Valentine's Day appropriate. So for the lips, I only have one new lipstick, so I'm not sure if I'm going to try it because this is leaning a little more peachy, but we're going to try it anyways. This is a new lip gloss in Peachy Nude and then their Lip Velvets in Peachy Nude as well. Oh my gosh, this formula is to die for. So I'm going to go in with the ABH Lip Liner in Cool Brown. If you have like wrinkly lips, I think you're going to love this formula. It's so forgiving. It is so comfortable. It's definitely like my top favorite formula from like liquid lipsticks i feel like i haven't seen a lot of brands releasing liquid lipsticks because we've been so focused on like lip glosses but this is so pretty and it's so highly pigmented i'm gonna add a little bit of the ColourPop hearts content um on the center to bring a little bit of that pink since this is a cheek and lip tint so Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I love that. This is the final look, you guys. This is a full face using new and like old makeup. I am so in love with ColourPop's collection. Lost in Love, this palette is perfect if you are a pink girly and you reach for pink eyeshadow a lot not only during valentine's but just year round i mean spring and summer is around the corner i 10 out of 10 recommend this i only wish that it came with like one shade darker to create that depth but not a big deal if you guys haven't jumped on to the hype of the milk makeup little jelly tints these Oh my gosh, I love these and that's and that's coming from a person that does not wear anything that's lip tint or anything. It's not my vibe, but there's something about this formula that I genuinely enjoy. What else did we try? Obviously, ABH, you can't go wrong with your products ever. And I think that was it. The only thing that I was really disappointed in and I was really looking forward to was the Tula skincare. I think I'm going to just return this because Tula is an expensive brand. And then all the new flower beauty products that we tried out. I love them. Like I love how it gives me a subtle highlight, but it's still giving like luminosity. So that is it for me, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for getting ready with me. Thank you for listening to my wild stories from the past literally month. Um, that doesn't mean that we're starting off the year wrong. We're just, you know, we're being tested a little bit and we're okay. So thank you so much for being here. I love you. Stay safe. And until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video.